Hello, my crazy tuners, and welcome to a Grant another Grantham Garage video. Today I'll be showing you how to add more power to your 36 volt Razor product. Now that would be a electric Razor vehicle that uses this kind of controller and three batteries. But if you have this kind of controller and your vehicle has two batteries, then it's a 24 volt. I have left a link in the description for you for this kind of controller. But this is a mod that will give you more power for free or very cheap. So what this mod consists of is you remove these four screws and then break this glue barrier here. Be able to separate the controller and its heat sink from this plastic case. After that's been done, you locate these two solder joints. And what you do here to add this little piece of metal, any piece of metal, you can use part of a paper clip or any small piece of metal. This is two centimeters of brass. So what this does is it allows more current to flow through your controller. So what more current does is it will give you more low end power, more torque, more acceleration. It also maybe give you a bit of a higher top speed by a mile an hour or two. I've done this mod on a vehicle so I can say for sure that this works if you do it properly. Now after you put your piece of metal on there, you need a way of securing it. There's two methods. One is with soldering. Now, you may not have a soldering iron. If you do, that's great. Go ahead. You know what to do from here. But then, if you do not, you can buy one of these for about $20 to $30 at a hardware store or a hobby shop. And then, you can go ahead, melt those two terminals, and connect to this bar. But if you don't want to buy one of these, not, you do not have one, you can go ahead with adhesives. Now, you can use glue or tape, just something that's very strong. Because if this starts jumping around, it'll short out your controller and you'll have to buy another one. So, personally, I like tape since this holds the metal in place from the top. and gets its grip on the sides of the circuit board here. So what you want to do is line up the fingers with this piece of metal and just push down firmly connecting the bar to the controller like so. What you should see is this bar here held firmly in place by the tape. That should mean that it's connected well. You can place this back inside. If you're worried about water leaking your controller by this broken glue seal, you can put this back with hot glue Screw this back in, put this back in your vehicle, make sure you wire everything correctly. Then have fun. What happens when I try to take off? Now, for reference, I am 135 pounds. So let's see what it does now. No kicking. Quite a good takeoff. No kicking. Whew. A lot of power there. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon.